It's day six and the final day of my Eastern Romania road trip. And as always, I started my day with coffee and also with a delicious breakfast at my pensione. I am in Bukovina region of Romania, which is famous for its painted churches. The most famous being this one, Veronets. Veronets is known for its exterior paintings and a very specific color of blue that has lasted hundreds of years on the outside of this building. And it really is spectacular and hard to believe that it's never been repainted. This monastery and seven others located in the area are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. After Veronets, I took a short drive to the Umor Monastery, which is just as lovely as Veronets. I think it's important to note that while these are a place that tourists visit, they're not tourist attractions, they're places of worship. So the nuns and the priests do ask that you cover your legs and cover your shoulders and wear proper footwear if you'd like to visit the monasteries. As I looked at what humans painted as a tribute to God, I was able to look around and think, wow, this is what God painted for us watching all of the beautiful leaves change this season. And it really was spectacular, the scenery I mean. Next, I took a little bit longer drive to the last monastery that I would see before taking the five hour drive back to Cluj. It's the Moldovica Monastery, and by the time I reached this monastery, I was so tired. You know how it is at the end of the trip, it's just time to go home and I miss my kids. But I'm so glad I stopped at this monastery because I ran into a class on a field trip and some of the students recognized me and they were so kind and so funny and so sweet and it reminded me why I make all of this content for all of you because you love it and I love making it. So hi to that class. Hi guys. Okay, back to the Moldovica Monastery. This monastery was built in the 1500s and it's never been repainted. The paintings are absolutely fantastic. One thing I was surprised to see is that there was graffiti on the wall of this monastery and some of these were hundreds of years old. <laughs> Apparently people were douchebags back then too. Moldovica was the last monastery I visited for the day, but I am looking forward to visiting the other five at some point. I promised my children I'd be home to Cluj for dinner so it was time to get back on the road and let me tell you, it was such a pleasure to make the drive back to Cluj. This area of the country is so spectacularly scenic and beautiful. I had to make a stop for diesel so I got some popcorn to munch on while I drove. But before I knew it, I was back in Cluj. That's it, that's my road trip, six days in total. Check tomorrow for a summary of what I did right and what I would do different.